Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into 12 packs of Jumpstart. So this is a new product. Uh, it was originally supposed to be released on June 26, 2020. Uh, the release date was pushed out to July 17th. So this is unusual. You get 20 card packs and the deal is you mash two packs together and create a 40 card deck. Um, so that is going to be interesting to see how that works out. Uh, we actually opened a couple of packs of this on the video the other day. So if you miss that, I'll pop a link up in the corner. You can check it out. Uh, so they're saying the booster boxes, you'll get 24 of these. Uh, each pack will have seven or eight lands, some of which are special lands. There are no foils and it is not a limited print run. So let's get into it. I noticed uh, a bunch of stores were charging a small fortune for this, like $140 plus. But it will be available a long time, so no sense rushing out and paying top dollar. So let's see what we get on the first one. And they're saying there's 500 reprints, 37 new cards. 150 of which are from Core 2021. Okay, oh nice. So we start off here with Vampires. So we'll see, each one is a theme. Okay, we have Exquisite Blood. Enchantment for five. Whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. Sangromancer, okay, so we got a second rare, Critch Vampire Shaman 3-3 three, three for 4, flying whenever a Critch an opponent controls dies, you may gain 3 life. Whenever an opponent discards a card, you may gain 3 life. Good deal. So I think they said, was it like 30% of packs have more than one rare? So you can have up to 2, okay. And here's a Core 2021 card, Silver Smoke Ghoul, Blood Bond Vampire, Gifted Aetherborn, there's a nice one. Sengir Vampire, Sanguine Indulgence, Agonizing Siphon, Last Gasp, Nocturnal Feeder, Thriving Moor, Vampire Neonate, Gloom Sower, and then we get a bunch of lands, so let's see, wonder if any of these are new artwork, probably not, but they did say there are some special lands. Okay, so I'm going to group these together so I don't get them mixed up. So let's get into the next one. And most of these cards are not legal in standard format except the Core 2021 cards, uh, as well as a bunch of other formats. So don't be surprised if you can't play them. Although I will say they're releasing it in MTG Arena on July 16th. It'll be legal in Historic. Um, I think there's about 20 cards though that they're not including. Okay, next we have dogs. Okay, we've got the pack leader, creature dog, 2-2 two, two for 2. Other dogs you control get plus 1, plus 1. And whenever pack leader attacks, prevent all combat damage will be dealt this turn to dogs you control. Okay, selfless savior, effort guard hound, release the dogs. Supply runners, secure the scene, feed of resistance, alpine watchdog, Cathar's companion, rambunctious mutt. Trusty Retriever, Pacifism, Thriving Heath, and oh, that's pretty cool. I think they spoiled that one earlier, actually. That's one of the special dog lands, planes. Um, I'm wondering if those will fetch top dollar because there's only one in the pack and you only get in the dog theme. Okay, on to the next. And the saying, um, so you got 48 different themes. There are multiple variations. I think there's about 121 different pack combinations. And some packs do not have any variations. So so-called mythic rare packs. Okay, spirits. Okay, good. We're getting some variety here. Shacklegeist, creature spirit. 2-2 uh, two, two for 2 with flying. Can block only creatures with flying. Tap 2 untap spirits you control. Tap target creature you don't control. And another rare, nice, Rattle Chains. Creature Spirit 2 1 for 2 with Flash and Flying. When it enters the battlefield, target spirit gains Hexproof until end of turn. You may cast Spirit Spells as though they had Flash. 
Okay, next up, Rewind Battleground Geist, Pahada Deckhand, Nibblegast Herald, Capture Sphere, Roaming Ghostlight, Rookie Mistake, Frost Breath, Tome Anima, Thriving Isle, Winged Words, and oh, that looks like a very special spooky land here, island. Okay. So we've just got some other, whoops, skipping over them. I don't think there are any other, no, they're all uh, just regular lands. All right, so spirits. So these are all new. I didn't pull any of these the other day, so that is good. So what do you think of this product? Is this something you think you'll be picking up? Seems like a, a better deal than the um, theme boosters. Those mono-coloured things you see in uh, your local Walmart or whatever. Okay, Legion up next. Glorious Anthem, enchantment for three creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Just the one rare. Siege Striker, Faith's Fetters. Release the dogs. Okay, so that one's in here as well. Basri's Solidarity, Valorous Steed. Daybreak Charger, Makeshift Battalion. Staunch Shieldmate, Inspiring Captain, Legion's Judgment. Got the Thriving Heath again, raise the alarm. Ah, okay, so that looks like Legion's a big army there. Okay, so that's a special land. And then the others, yeah, M21 lands. So nothing crazy there, okay. On to the next. So the one I'm most excited about, I want to see some goblins. And I think there's a special goblin mountain land so very keen to see if we can pull one of those oh i must have had a feeling about this pack it's the goblins nice we have muxus goblin grandee i think this is a new one legendary creature goblin noble four four for six so when muxus goblin grandee enters battlefield reveal the top six cards of your library put all goblin creature cards with command man across five or less from among them onto the battlefield and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And whenever Muxus attacks, it gets plus one, plus one, and two end of turn for each other goblin you control. Okay, next up we have a Beetleback Chief, Goblin Commando, Makeshift Munitions, Volley Veteran, Creature Goblin Warrior, Goblin Arsonist, Shock, Boggart Boot, Goblin Instigator, Goblin Shortcutter, Ornery Goblin. Oh, I'm gonna lose my voice after this, aren't I? Outnumber. Thriving Bluff Mountain, yes, this is the one. Take a close look if I can get it in focus at that mountain. What do you see? That is very cool. Okay, get it back in focus. And then we just have some regular boring mountains. So that would be one you'd probably want to hope you pull multiples of those um, so you can build up your goblin deck okay so about halfway through now we're getting some good variety here people and even if we don't i'm curious what the difference will be under the sea okay there's something different Pursued Whale, Creature Whale, 8-8 eight, eight for 7. So when it ends the battlefield, each opponent creates a 1-1 one, one red pirate creature token with this creature can't block, and creatures you control attack each combat if able. Suppose your opponent's cast at target. Pursued Whale costs 3 more to cast. Okay, so I like that sort of a bit of a Moby Dick theme there. Talarian Kraken, love that artwork. Sigiled Starfish, Unstable Obelisk, Waker of Waves, Rousing Reed, Octo Prophet, Thriving Isle, Voyager's End, Water Knot, Wishful Merfolk, Aegis Turtle, and I think that is a special land here, Under the Sea. And then we, oh yeah, you can tell by the um, symbol. So if it's M21, it's just a regular, yeah, just a regular land, yep. All right. So we can probably start skipping over those, just see if there's a special land. So this is going to really shake up the historic format in MTG Arena, We're getting like, what is it, um, probably well over 400 new cards. Okay, Archaeology. 
Scholar of the Lost Trove, Creature Sphinx 5-5 five, five for 7 with flying, so when it enters the battlefield you may cast target instant sorcery or artifact card from your graveyard without paying its mana costs. And if an instant or sorcery spell cast this way will be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. And we get a Buried Ruin, Hedron Archive, that's pretty cool, Juggernaut, Meteor Golem, Thirst for Knowledge, Aether Spellbomb, Ancestral Statue, Chromatic Sphere. <laughs> Archeomender, so you actually get a couple of those, Erratic Visionary, Lightning Core Excavator, and remember there is a bit of variation for a lot of these, so it might not match this exactly. Thriving Isle, here's the special island, okay, and yeah, just everything else, M21, yep, so we'll skip over those. So Archaeology. Yeah, this would be a fun thing. Um, you just want to pick up a couple of packs with your friends and uh, battle against each other. Okay, so we have spirits again. Let's see if we get the two rares this time. We got the Shacklegeist. No, nope. so just one rare. So, uh, Essence Flux, I don't remember that one. Yeah, so mostly the same. I'll just go through for completeness here. See if there's any difference. Winged words, and you get the special island, of course. Okay, so that is one that has variations, apparently. Um, I've heard when they do the tournaments for this, you'll either get two packs or four packs. So if you get four, you'll build two decks, and then you'll have three rounds, and depending on... So if you do round one, you will um, pick one deck, round two, pick a different deck, and round three, you can choose between them. Predatory. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Naeth of the Dire Hunt, legendary creature, human warrior, three, three, four, four. So whenever one or more creatures you control fight or becomes blocked, draw a card. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay two and either a red or green. If you do double target creatures power until end of turn, that creature must be blocked this combat if able. Okay, Fungal Rebirth, Somber World Stag, Brindle Shoot, whatever that is, Irresistible Prey, Truffle Snout, there he is, Sabretooth Mauler, Crushing Canopy, Dawn Treader Elk, Marauder's Axe, Let's get that in focus there, Thriving Grove, Time to Feed, Sylvan Brush Strider, and here's the Special Forest, and yeah, we won't go through the rest, they're all... Just regular M21 forest. So we're down to last four packs. So just one duplicate so far. And even that, the uh, deck was slightly different. Although I'm not sure it would really make that much of a difference when you're playing it. Aside from having an extra rare would be nice. Okay, so predatory again. So we saw that one already. Affectionate Indrik, I don't remember him. So we'll go through, yeah, see there's a bunch of duplication here, Thriving Grove of course, time to feed, Ginger Brute, yeah, he wasn't in the other one, alright, so we have two different variations there, down to the last two packs, I would like to see a Goblin variant, if I'm going to get a variant, just to see what the difference is, plus get one of those cool goblin lands. Predatory again! Oh, okay. Not that happy about that. That's the downside with these, I guess, is you could get duplicates. You might already have the deck, so maybe the thing to do there, you trade the decks with your friends if you've already got a duplicate. You don't want another one. Just trade the whole thing, and then you can swap it out. Okay, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And I'm curious if you'd like to see more of these unboxed on the channel. I know there's a whole heap of different variations. Okay, devilish! So this one I think we did the other day. So let's see what we got. Brash Taunter, creature goblin, 1-1 one, one for 5 with indestructible. Whenever Brash Taunter is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target opponent. So what is this, like a stuffy doll type card for 2 and red tap? He fights another target creature. 
You hit like a kobold! All right, good to see a goblin. Traitorous greed, dance with devils. Chained brute, spiteful prankster, havoc jester, hobble fiend, pitch burn devils, act of treason, collateral damage, lightning core excavator, thriving bluff, torch fiend, and the devilish mountain there. Yeah, so this is pretty much as I remember the other one. All right, so there we have it. What do you think of this? Are you planning to pick up any packs or even a whole box? Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.